So what is going on guys, this is Jared Blast here and we are back again and this time we're going to be doing a story time video and um, I'm going to talk over some gameplay that I'm about to make. So um, this story time is about, is going to be about um, something that, uh, that, oh, uh, what's it called, something that happened to me. Um, I'm actually going to think of something. I decided to make a story time video because I wanted to make something new and try how, how this series is going to be made. So, um, I'm gonna think of a story, something interesting that, I, that happened to me, uh. Yeah, we can talk about, um, something that happened to me in the third grade. So, um, in my school, here where I live in New Jersey, um, schools are, like, different. I mean, some schools are a little bit different than my school, but my school, um, it's like, it's like an old school. It used to be like a, I think it was a hospital for like people in the military and stuff. So, um, so I was playing gym and, uh, it was, this was in the third grade right now. I'm in the sixth grade and then the sixth grade about to move on, about to move on to the seventh grade. So, um, so this happened to me in third grade. I was actually, we were playing gym and, um, we had just got into the gym and for us, we have gym like two times a day in the third grade, I think it was twice a day, so, um, gym was, like, really fun, so everybody would basically go crazy in the gym, so, um, we were playing tag, and I'm running, and another kid is running right behind me, and I stopped running, because I got tired, and the kid kept running, so he ran right into me, but, um, when he ran into me, his mouth got clamped onto my chin, to my, to my, to my chin, and then, he had, when he got up, he like took a piece, that like he made me bleed from my skin, so, Ready up, it off. so I freaked out, I was in the third grade, I didn't know what, what um, was going on, I got really scared, I saw, I saw that I was bleeding, and I was like, OMG, I just wild out, I know I started wilding out, so, I ran straight to the um, gym teacher, and I um, showed my face, and he said, and he rushed me straight to the um, nurse, and there was a nurse in high school, it's not like a care nurse, nurse. So, um, so whatever, he rushed me to the nurse, and when I got to the nurse's office, the nurse didn't know what to do, so she was freaking out, so it was like, I was freaking out, the gym teacher was freaking out, the nurse was freaking out, and I didn't know what was going on, I didn't know how my face was looking, so I looked in the mirror, and I saw my face was basically cut open, not the whole thing, but like, right next to my chin, so I started freaking out, and the nurse decided to grab, grab this old, like, it's not, I'm not going to say old, but uh, this paper that, you know, it's not the best, like, napkins. Napkins? It's not the best napkins. It's like napkins you'll find, like, in a factory or something. So, um, they're, they're brown. And she smacked that right onto my face and called my mom to tell me, to tell her that, or whatever, I had to be rushed to the hospital. And when I heard that I might have to get stitches or something, I started freaking out, started screaming. And then the brown paper was, like, in my skin and it burned and she didn't know what was going on. She didn't know how to calm me down. I didn't know how to calm down. She was scaring me. So, it was a scary situation. So then, whatever, everything, everybody's freaking out. She calls my mom. My mom speaks Spanish, so she didn't know what my mom was saying. So, my mom, uh, the nurse put me on the phone to speak to my mom. So, I, I was speaking to my mom, and then my mom started speaking out when I said what was going on. So then, it was like, we didn't know what to do. So, my mom got to the school in like five seconds. Because I live fairly close to the school, but not that not, clo not that close. She arrived to the school with my sister, and um, they saw my face. So they dismissed me out of school, and they sent me straight to the, um, to the hospital. So when I got to the hospital, we went to the emergency room. And um, they took me there, and the guy, the doctor, asked me. Thank goodness the doctor was calm because that, he was going to fix the problem. He asked me what I wanted to do, stitches or, um, like, glue my face. And, um, because it wasn't such a big cut, but it was pretty good, pretty big. And, um, because my face was, like, way small, so I was third grade, so it looked pretty big on my face. So, I said, I don't know, which everyone's better. So, when he took the napkins off my face, the brown napkins, he saw that some of the brown napkins was inside my skin, so he said we couldn't stitch it. I had to glue your face back together. Well, glue that certain area, so when he began to work, that thing started burning. I was, I was, oh my God, I'm not gonna lie. I was 
was about to cry. It was burning me. It was, it was a tragic situation. I didn't know what to do. I'm laying on a on a hospital bed that's like three times my size because I was really short in the third grade. I'm pretty short now. So, because my parents are pretty short. So, we didn't know what to do. So, whatever. He got it all done. And, um, and, uh, uh, my face was all better. Then we had to stay in the emergency room for like another two more hours to get paperwork situated and medicine, like, like, uh, doctors and certain insurances that I have. So, whatever. They got this all situated. I finally got home. And then my mom. And then uh, my mom asked me how all, 100% how everything happened, so I explained everything, how I saw it. But then the next day I went to, no, not the next day, the day after, I went back to school, and the kid was afraid of my face. He, he knew it was him. He had gotten in, um, he got, he had his mom call to the, to the school, and uh, my mom had to come to the school too to find out what happened, and whatever, see if anybody had to get in trouble or anything that happened, but nobody really got in trouble, the only one who really got affected was me, because I had a freaking cut in my face, so, so the kid, whatever, he, he thought nothing of it, he was also in third grade, he was really small, he was short, I could say, and I really didn't get along with the kid, so I was even madder, I was even more mad that, um, he had fit my face, basically, so with the, um, what the gym teacher had explained was that I was bleeding. I went up to him, and he sent me straight to the nurse, but that's all that basically happened that day. I got, I was really scared. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. So, I, um, so I stopped talking to the boy, and then the teacher, um, then, then the teacher didn't even know what had went on. So then when I go back to school, whatever, I, I uh, explained to the teacher what had happened because I had my face glued and I had like a patch over it that um, I couldn't take off after a while until everything was dried up and stuff. So she asked me what happened and I told her what happened because she didn't even know what happened. What up? I'm making a video! So then she didn't know what happened. So I go and uh, I explain to her what happened. And uh, yeah, so then she sort of got scared when I told her all that happened and what was happening to my skin and stuff. So, um, that's basically all that happened that day, and that's what I want to bring to you guys for the first story time, something intense. So, I have a lot more stories, but I just, that one just popped in my head really quick, because today was a school day, so I just thought of something cool, something crazy that happened to school. So, um, I want to tell you other things about school, but I have to ask my friends first, because some, it has to do with my friends, and I don't know if they're comfortable about me talking about it. Because there's this teacher in our school that nobody gets along with, and a lot of people get in arguments with him, and I have to talk about those because they're kind of funny. So, um, it's basically it for today. I ended up in third place, which is pretty good. I mean, I do get in first place. Is I'm never always losing. Is that in s some of my videos, I don't do that good. So, um, I just want to thank you guys for watching. It's been, boy, it's been your boy, Jared Blast. Um, I just hope you guys like this story time series. It's something new that I'm trying to try out. So, uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Peace out, everybody.